Alrighty, so today I'm going to be talking about a topic. We've got a lot of new folks coming into our crew, and sometimes they're not new to trading, but they are new to us, and they come in and they've got some uh, some misconceived notions and bring in some of the things that they may have heard from Twitter or around the trading universe of individuals who talk about, uh, oh, you just need one strategy and you know everything will be fine. Focus on your one strategy that suits you. I'm going to talk about why your one strategy is not enough and how you should be trading with Algobox, how we do it a bit differently. Let's get into that topic right now. All right, so if algorithmic trading is for you, you wanna learn more about it, this is probably the place for you. Make sure you follow us over here on our Facebook. Instagram is a lot of fun. Of course, if you wanna learn how we earn, right here on our Discord channel chat, links are down in the description to join the rest of our trading crew. Let's get into this topic here about single strategy nonsense. And I, I say nonsense, look, there are probably traders out there that can do one trick ponies, but I would say that from a level of success, a person, you've got the trader who's making 200 to $300 a day to the trader who's making thousands a day, there's a difference. If you are a one trick pony and you've only got one one trick, well, the markets are not consistent enough for you to really pull that out in my opinion. And when we approach the markets with Algobox and from a quantitative perspective, we just wanna win no matter what the market is throwing at us. So we, I would encourage you to throw away that idea that, oh, you know, I've heard on Twitter, or I read from some gutty on the internet, they said single strategy, get your one strategy, be a one trick pony, do your thing, stick to what you know and go. Well. I uh, you know, you might not find too many successful traders out there with that mentality. Although a lot of people that when they do kind of focus in on what they're good at, that does increase their PL. But let me talk to you about what we do here with Algobox. This came up today because uh, a new member had come in and said, hey, uh, what is the best strategy? If I'm coming into Algobox, there are about 13 to 15 strategies, main ones, and there are a few more if you're combining them together. You know, there seems to be a lot. I'm coming right in. I would like to learn the best strategy. What's the best strategy? What's the one thing I can focus on? Come in and learn and go. Well, that's a little bit tricky. Now, mind you, if you're going to become a premium member, uh, we're going to put you into premium member training, and there's a specific path there where you will learn everything that you need to know. But if you're coming in doing a two-week free trial, I know it can be very tempting to think, okay, I just want to jump in and do the the one strategy. Let me try to focus on that. And yeah, it's going to be a little bit dangerous for yourself. Just know that as you're coming in, set yourself mentally for our system that you are going to come in here and learn everything there is to know about our system use it together so that no matter what type of market condition you're going to be prepared to be able to execute a strategy a strategy remember what i said a strategy based on what the market is giving you at that moment i kind of like to uh, talk about it like the uh like playing paper rock scissors you know rock beats paper i'm sorry paper beats rock Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and whatever the market gives you, you may not know what the market's gonna give you till the very last moment, and what you wanna do though, it's not like paper, rock, scissors where, oh, you have to hit at the same time. You are gonna be able to see what the market gives, and now you bring your strategy to the table. Now let me kinda use a, a Battlefield 3 and a gaming analogy here, and let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you know that our approach to the markets, if you've been around our system, we really approach the markets like a video game. That's part of our edge. And I use the um, the gaming analogies a lot because it, in my opinion, everybody who is trading the markets, you're on a computer, you're pressing the buttons, you got a computer, a keyboard, a mouse, and a screen, and you are trying to click the button at the right time better than somebody else on the other part of the world, right? So that to me is like an online game. So let's talk about online games. Battlefield 3 is one of my favorites. I've been running a Battlefield 3 server for the last six years with the number one air map server on Battlefield 3. And Battlefield 3 has the classic classification system that I want to show you guys. Uh, each individual soldier has a different classification, different things that they're good at. And this is like having multiple strategies as you're going into battle. So let me show you some of these classes here. All right, so if you were a one trick pony, that would maybe be like, okay, I'm a sniper player. Well, you are limited on what you can do. If you only played sniper, now mind you, there are a lot of people in Battlefield that you know play very specific classes, and I'm I'm more of an engineer guy. The engineer has certain things. I, I'm a I like to, to fly around. I do a lot of things in the plane and stuff. So engineer is handy to my style of play, which is good. But I know that there are times when I need to jump over to the assault class, or I need to jump over to support. And on a rare occasion, I'll jump in and be a sniper. 
class um, for certain situations, but the each one of these has their benefits. And what I'm trying to teach you with Algobox is you need to learn to use all of the weapons. You'll notice that each one of these each one of these classes has a particular type of weapon set, although they can change them out in this game um, as you spawn in and you can choose. You're like, oh, I'm going to be going through a, a map where I'm going indoors a lot. So maybe I'm going to bring a shotgun with the assault and I've got my med kit. And I'm going in with my crew. Well, that's going to be maybe a good thing. You may not want to be a sniper class going into a building where everything's going to be close quarters where, you know, you've got this big, long barrel. You can't really get around corners. Uh, if you play video games, you kind of know what I'm talking about. You know the paper rock scissors scenario where you need to decide on what you're going to bring into that situation and the markets are a lot like that you're not going to know what the market's going to give you although as the market opens up you're going to kind of start to get the idea like oh today's an FOMC style day what's going to happen well the early part of the day things are probably going to be a little bit lackluster and slow than around 2 30 when the news comes out you're going to be looking at that first 30 minutes of super volatility you're going to see the fake move and then the real move you know you've got that interpretation so get your setup so that your strategies are ready to be executed and with our system, what's cool is in Battlefield, you have a limit. You have to choose which one you're going to be in each spawn. With our system, with Algobox, you want to go in with all of them. That's what I'm trying to teach you is to come in here, use all of them, learn all of our strategies, know all of them. Even though you may specialize in one specific class, one specific set of strategies, I tend to tell you guys you really need to specialize in three or four of those strategies so that when those show up, you're going to be ready to execute on them, know every single thing about those strategies and to be aware of what each class does. So if you've got a guy next to you who's on your, you know, in a game scenario where if you're running around with a medic, well, you don't have, you may run out of ammo. Who do you need to give you ammo? Well, if you know the game well, you know that you need a support guy who can bring additional ammo and grenades. And if you got the engineer who got rockets to can, to, who can blow in through walls, if you need to cut, you know, short, do a shortcut through a building, um, you'll kind of learn those things as you go. But you need to know what the other guys are doing, even if you are assault class. So let's say that you're a headshot player or HMD player. You need to know that, oh, hey, I've got a J hook playing in here. There's a J hook. Yeah, here's my headshot coming in right here, but you know what? There's also a J-hook, but if you are unaware of what the J-hook is doing for you, like is this J-hook playing with you or is it going against you? Well, if you've got a red headshot here, but this is a J-hook that looks like this, well, you know that the J-hook is actually going to be working against you because this is going to be a long play position and the target one is going to be up here. So if you're trying to take a headshot red going to the short side, but you've got this J-hook sitting right here, you need to know that that strategy is also in play with you to know whether or not you should be going big on this play or maybe being a little more cautious. So this is what I mean by don't just come in here and try to do a one trick pony. Don't just try to pick out, well, what's the best strategy? Now we do have favorites. I'll tell you right now, if you are asking me, Vinny, what's the best strategy should I focus on if you wanted to start in on one? Well, I would tell you to do the double cross, double move. Now the double cross, double move is uh, one of those strategies that has a lot of aspects to it and a lot of cool opportunities and the R ratio on it is very high. So I would start you, I wouldn't say I would start you with that, but if you asked me what is the best, that's my personal favorite. So double cross, double move. But would I discount any of our other setups? Like come over here and let's look at an example from today. Look at this beautiful divergence dot play right here. This was an amazing play targeting all the way up into, you got a PRZ for the target with an HMD play right here. If you don't know what each one of these is, and you're like, well, you're ignorant of all these. You're like, well, all I know is uh, here's a shark and I'm a, I'm a shark back player. Well, that's great. You got this play, that's awesome, up, and then you got the additional moves. But if you don't know of any of the other setups, you are gonna be missing out on our system. So my whole point with this is for the folks who come in and ask, hey, can I do one strategy? What's the one single strategy that you should play? Again, I'm really telling you, know all of them, learn all of them, be a flexible player, be a flexible trader. With our system, we call it Algo Box because it has the box of all the tools that you need to do. I'll give one more analogy here in using home building, right? If you are going to build a house, can you have one skill? Can you be a plumber and build a house? Probably not. Now you may know the gener general ideas like, I could probably draw a house, give me a piece of paper and a pen, I could probably draw it all out, draw things and this and that, but I, don't you need a carpenter? You need to have a carpentry skill. You need to have very specific skill sets for masonry. You've got to, I mean, can you build a foundation properly with all the pipes to come in the proper locations and things? You know, you need to be able to specialize in your own section, but to build a full house, you really have to have all of those things put together. And remember, most of us here are trying to trade for a living. We're not just trying to come in here and, you know, onesie twosie it. If you are trying to really take this seriously, 
take it seriously then, get all the skill sets, get all the strategies under your belt, learn all the strategies, know how they all work together, go through the order of operations videos, go through the full training, don't shortcut yourself or try to shortcut it. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, everything in life, we are all trying to shortcut. We are trying to make the most amount of money, the least amount of time. Algobox gives you that opportunity. The edge uh, is inside of the plays themselves, the strategies themselves, but don't come in here and say, hey, what's the one single strategy? That's This, is, this video is for you. If you're that person, what I'm encouraging you to do is this okay the full notes of all this is this settle in go through the training videos on the website there's that first 30 videos there then when you are done with those you really want to go into full training those videos will be included but they'll be in a different order and there's a lot more when you join into our premium member training that's why you want to join premium on top of the fact that you get your full license for the software but you're also going to get full training once you have joined our program and just settle your mind in don't just think oh i'll get this one thing i'll learn this one thing and that's what i'm going to go do i'll buy the whole system for this one thing that's not how you want to do it the reason that our members have the success that they do when you're looking in and seeing all the testimonials and you're seeing the numbers that our guys are running uh you know somebody had said well i see most of you guys oh it looks like you know some of you guys really stick to one or two things well, just because those people are posting screenshots of those, what you don't know is the background of what that person has gone through. I always like the analogy of uh, the ballerina feet. Have you guys seen that one? So when you think about a ballerina, you think about, okay, you're going to the performance and you see uh, this person who has worked their tail off, although you don't know what it took for that person to be able to get to a stage where they can you know, lift themselves up on their, their toes like this in these crazy shoes and whatnot and make this beautiful, um, you know, dance and whatnot and for you to enjoy. And you're like, wow, that's just amazing. I want to be a ballerina. And you're like, wow, this is so cool. And then when you realize, you know, you ever take off their shoes, this is uh, the, the famous picture that I was thinking of earlier, was you don't know what that person had to go through to get to the point where they could do that, to make that look so easy, where they're just spinning on their toes. And when they take off their shoes, like look at all the bruising, the broken toes, the, the craziness that they had to go through to be able to get to that. So when you see the numbers that our guys are putting up and you see this beautiful ballerina-esque uh, levels of uh, P&L and profit factors in our crew, uh, what did they go through? Well, they went through training. They learned every strategy. They went through me pushing them to make sure that they did what they needed to do. They went through me yelling at them to make sure that they were doing exactly the way that I had taught them how to do it because I want you guys to succeed. It is very important to me that those of you guys who are joining our crew, I want you to be some of the best traders out there. That's what I want to build. It's my whole goal. And I hope you guys appreciate that. Hope you understand. If you have any questions on it or don't know what I'm saying, or you got any you know arguments to that, or if I didn't answer something, with it on the single strategy and you still think well what about the single strategy of this you know maybe I'm missing part of this as I'm giving this to you I hope that I have at least kind of uh, opened that gate to you and uh, answered the questions for those of you guys who are coming in asking what's the best strategy what single strategy can I go after the answer is there isn't one you need more than that your single strategy is not enough